Hi guys, this is Rashid and welcome back. So we are still here with our big boy, the AT Crawler Basic and the motor driver. As I mentioned from previous videos that besides from using this motor driver with ROS, we can also make it work with the Q-Pilot by using the PDBM signal. So today we would like to show you how to set up the AT Crawler Basic and which parameters we need to change on our dual pilot and how to tuning up the PID and finally doing some waypoint navigation. If you are ready, let's get started. And this is our custom motor driver for the AT Crawler. From last time, we were using this with ROS, but for today, we need to use PWM port connecting to the Q pilot. PWM1 is to control left wheel track and PWM2 is to control right wheel track. And in order to use PWM mode, the PWM3 port needs PWM value as 1500. Here is the AT Crawler set up with Q pilot. On top here, we have here three GPS and antenna for XP telemetry. At the back side, there is a battery holder for Makita battery and two batteries for longer usage. We install the motor driver with heatsink on the box lid as before. The motor's cable is plugged on each channel. Here we are using PWM port without connecting the 5 volt of red middle wire. PWM1 goes to channel 1, PWM2 goes to channel 3, and PWM3 goes to auxiliary channel 1. Q pilot got power by motor driver by passing from power brick. Here 3 GPS is connecting on CAN port. The XP telemetry is on telem port 1. Then let's plug on the batteries. And that is the sound of a dual pilot starting. On the ground station computer, we open up Mission Planner and connect another XB telemetry to computer USB port and click on connect. At first, we need to do some calibration on accelerometer, radio controller, and then set up server output correctly. Channel 1 is throttle left, channel 3 is throttle right, and lastly, channel 9 is server trim to output 1500 value. Then on RC map parameters, we need to make sure the RC channel is mapping to correct action. RC channel 2 should be throttle, and RC channel 1 should be roll or stealing. After that, we need to do motor test to find the minimum throttle that make the wheel turn. Then we will set it on mod THR main parameter here. I'm using RC channel 5 as flight mode chain switch, so mode CH parameter is 5. The flight mode is set up like this and after finish tuning up, we will change acro to auto mode later. RC channel 7 option is assigned to be arming switch. Compass parameter is set up to use as external and allow to use all compasses. The one on top here is tier 3 and the lower is internal compass in Q pilot. To calibrate compass, I will set compass learn as 3 to allow in-flight learning. After finish learning, the offset will be stored automatically. This is useful function for a big vehicle calibration. And before running, I would like to use RTK inject by Intrip. So I chose the base station from RTK to go and select the one which is the closest to my location. After connect, you could see I can get the RTC M3 message and it will be passed to the lower by telemetry. My GPS status is showing as RTK float, which is good enough. Then we need to arm, then start to drive around in manual mode. Once it finished, it will show compass learn finish on message box. Channel 8 is assigned to be learned cruise, so the actual speed and throttle value could be mapped correctly. 
we will need to drive it as straight line with 80 to 100% throttle. Then we need to tune stealing PID gain, so set GCS PID marks as 1 for stealing. We need to drive around in acro mode and do some turning. Then we need to observe the graph that the PID achieved is follow PID desire. And after tuning up for a while, the stealing PID is working good. Finally, the staling parameters ATC, STR, LAT, PID, and FF are like this. ATC, STR, RAT, MAX is set to 60 degrees per second, same as acro turn rate, and same as waypoint pivot. After finished throttle and staling tuning, next we need to do the navigation tuning. It is recommended to make a rectangle waypoint and run it in auto mode. After some trial and error, here are the PCS veil parameter value. So far, all parameters is good enough. Let's try to challenge it a little bit. First, I'm going to draw a polygon as in rectangle shape. And then I could use auto waypoint with simple grid function and set up line spacing as one meter. This will create a grid waypoint which is good for many applications like lawn mower or inspection robot. We arm and switch to auto mode, then the rover will start to run autonomously. The crawler is running good enough, we could try to fine tuning it to make it running performance much better.
And that's for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. You can see how easy we can use this AT crawler and this motor driver with Adu Pilot to make a GPS navigation robot. We just need to set up the correct parameters and follow all the step and tuning process as written in the Adu Pilot documentation. If you're interested in this AT crawler or this motor driver for your next robot project, please check it out on attractlab-shop.com. There is a documentation and connection diagram which you can easily follow along. If you like this kind of video, please press like and share button. Thank you for watching and see you soon.